the radiation fog that encompasses tiny droplets pertaining all across the landscape, scenario thousand meter with the most extreme extent prescribed successively, occasionally during winter season, dominates even lesser up to few meters of surroundings. Visibility could be assured as low-level ground-based clouds formed by infrared cooling under the clear horizon. The western disturbance through the subtropical high-pressure western jet streams, Rossby roaming near the tropopause, renders conducive atmosphere for such weather effects. The low-level temperature inversion radiation fog usually occurs across the continental plain terrain, while frontal advection and adiabatic air column subsidence-induced anticyclonic conditions might be prevalent. The radiative cooling for a stable layer formation accompanied by proper surface heat exchange depending upon the thermal conductivity of ground-based materials are prerequisite for the dew point saturation associated with high relative humidity radiation fog genesis. The growth phase witnesses a low-level inversion upward movement, adjusting just below the fog top layer. The sustainable phase is a steady-state equilibrium lying through a fog top radiative cooling as well as fog top mixing entrainment accompanied by cloud condensate nuclei concentration with a high level cloud layers having no intervening layers situating above the fog layer during the day. The dissipating phase involves radiative heating near the surface and within the fog layer through droplets settling associated with fog, top turbulent mixing and changing windy weather condition having overlying upper level cloud layer at night. Other influential factors could be sun latitudinal angular variations ground moisture, vegetation, and air mass movement in a particular subcontinental terrain.